Hello and welcome to our 628 square foot Metro Vancouver two bedroom apartment. Now, as this place isn't very big, there's not really all that much to see, but there are a lot of small details which make this place work for me, my wife and my daughter. So let me show you around. So before we get started, I should probably let you know that we're paying around 2,500 Canadian for this apartment's 628 square feet, which we're pretty happy paying for because of its proximity to BC's SkyTrain network and all of the amenities that we get with this place too. But what this means is that everything I'm about to show you is pretty much completely renter friendly. So to hide all of our entryways chaos, we recently installed this console slash shoe storage, as well as a mirror, some vases, and a catch-all to dump all of our EDC whenever we come in through the door. And then behind the door, we have some hooks in this little nook area, as well as some magnetic door catches, which are super useful for holding our really heavy door open whenever we're bringing our daughter's stroller in and out of the apartment. So I have heard online that it's really bad feng shui to have a mirror like this facing the entryway, but we've really wanted an organic mirror like this, and it really does help to bounce a little bit more light into this super dark area of the home. Through here, we also have our bathroom. There's not really all that much to see, except from a few shelves that we added, which really help give this space a little bit more storage. And I think they look pretty neat too, if you're after something that's a little bit renter friendly. Here we have probably one of the very best things about this apartment, which is this entryway closet, which we stuff full to the brim full of things. So over on the left side, we have a spot for our daughter's stroller, as well as coats and even more shoes and little bits and pieces like our mop and a hairdryer. And then over on the right side, we have recently turned this into a pantry with some shelving. So this is packed just full of junk, dry goods, as well as our recycling and our laundry. But what's really great about closets like this is that you can just be really messy on the inside. And then when you don't want to see it, you can just hide it all away. So this kitchen is mainly characterized by all of the moving parts like your fridge, oven, microwave and dishwasher over on this side. But then over on this side, we have this moving countertop, which is on casters, which we also use for preparing food and eating at, which is quite a nice feature. But my favorite thing about this space is the view that we get behind us, which when it's clear, it's absolutely stunning and is one of my favorite things about this apartment. So underneath here, we have a bunch of storage for things like air fryers, pots and pans, but we actually removed a couple of shelves so that we could get more space under there for our knees when we sit on this side, where my wife and I use two oak countertop stools. And then my daughter uses this really sturdy clip-on high chair, which I absolutely love simply because it saves us so much space. But one of my favorite recent additions to this space is this Ikea drying rack, which somehow fits perfectly in this shelving that we have with our apartment. So before we were using just a regular drying mat, which is a pretty clean solution, but it did take up a bunch of counter space. And it often meant that we had cups and plates just hanging around, taking up space and not looking all that nice. So this just really clears up a load of space and allows us to put our speaker here, as well as our Nutribullet, which I use all the time and I make these <laughs> Brian Johnson blueprint inspired shakes. So if you want the recipe for those, definitely let me know down in the comments. And then we also have this little outlet shelf, which just fits behind the panel of the outlet cover and allows us to put our little Muji diffuser on top of there too, which kind of helps to get the smell of dirty diapers and cooking out of the air, which is pretty essential in a small space like ours. One of the most used things in our kitchen is my little budget coffee setup that I've got going on as I'm responsible for caffeinating my wife and I in the mornings. Recently, we just added these magnetic metal shelves, which just stick to the side of our fridge, which are super useful for just getting some of those daily essentials up and off the counter. Over here, we've also got a magnetic kitchen timer and some clips for receipts, as well as some of our daughter's daycare art. 
and some Polaroids as well of that little tiny cabin tour that we did that some of you might remember back in the UK, which was when our daughter was just a little baby. So over on this side of the room is the living area, which is shared with the kitchen. And we've tried to make this space as social as possible, as we do want to have friends and family over more often, and we wanna make sure that they're as comfortable as possible. So we've gone for loads of natural materials like oak, as well as a bunch of furniture, which is on raised legs, which also helps to make the space feel a little bit bigger too. And we just got this new coffee table from Transformer Table, which also lifts up to be an additional work or eating surface too which is pretty cool but one thing that's definitely lacking about this space the most is art on the walls as right now it looks incredibly bare and i've been putting off taking care of that for the longest time so hopefully that's something you guys are gonna see in the new year Right now we've been using this blank wall to project onto using our ultra short throw projector which we store underneath this bench. For our current setup it's not really all that ideal so it's very likely that we're probably going to invest in something like a Samsung frame in the near future which will also help to stop some of these walls looking quite so bare. Another thing I love about this apartment is that it's got a balcony through this door. I'm just going to shut this because it's so noisy out there. So it's currently in winter mode, but if you do want to check it out, I did a complete transformation of this space earlier this year. So you can go and check that out over on my channel. And I've also got my road bike under a cover out there, which is something I got into over the summer. It's not the ideal location for it, but such is the nature of having hobbies when living in a small space. So over through this door, we have the playroom slash second bedroom slash dining room. And the one thing we realized about choosing what to do with this space is that when the doors open, it kind of functions like an extension of the living area. So a cool party trick, quite literally, is that our daughter's crib is modified with casters, which allows us to wheel it out of this room and into our bedroom for when we have guests over. And what that means is that we can throw all of her toys into the closet and use this transformer table to seat between eight to 10 people in this very room, along with a bench and some folding chairs, which we have inside that closet. So by simply pulling this thing apart and adding in the leaves, which are stored inside our living room's coffee table, it completely transforms this room when we have guests over and makes the apartment feel so much bigger. As in situations like that, rooms like this are pretty much redundant. And it all works because it's simply so easy to set up and put away. But for really large gatherings, we even managed to fit 12 people around this table in our living area for a recent family birthday. I was lucky enough to get this set up as a gift, as a means of Transformer Table sponsoring this channel. But in case you're interested, you can get $100 off using my code and link in the description below. So in keeping with the transforming bedrooms, this is our master bedroom where my wife and I sleep. And it's also the room that some of you may have recognized as my YouTube studio. So I've got this really compact standing desk setup that I've got on felt pads so that I can move it easily around, as well as this trusty Ikea chair, which I've also put on felt glides as the original casters that I had on there were just way too fast for this floor because we don't have a rug in this room. But what this allows us to do is move this stuff around so that we can bring the desk closer to the day bed. And what this does is actually turn this space into a little movie room, which gives us two doors of separation from our daughter's bedroom. So instead of having to include a massive TV or a projector in this room, simply by bringing my 4K monitor closer to the bed, it essentially makes the screen size larger in order to make the most of it. And because it all is wired in through just one cable, it makes it really easy to move around. But despite it not being the most flattering of solutions, it works. And it's just one of those things that is really handy in a small space like ours. 
So when this is in YouTube mode, it's essentially just as it is right now with a little cart full of tripods, mics, and other little gubbins. And then I have my video light up on a curtain rod, which bounces light off a pair of curtains on another curtain rod, which completely saves me from needing a massive light dome reflector, which saves us a ton of space and also keeps this room looking not too much like a film set when we're using it as a bedroom as well. And then when it's bedtime, we simply pull this curtain across here. And then we just pull out our day bed, which leaves us with a king size bed with these two five inch memory foam twin sized mattresses that we found on Amazon, which are insanely comfortable. And I don't care what anybody says, I am completely sold on this solution for small spaces as it's so affordable and renter friendly. And also when it comes to moving or upsizing to a larger home, it means that the mattresses are just way easier to move as well. Thanks so much for watching this tour of our humble apartment. And I hope this just goes to show that if you have a small space between several people, it's what you do with it that counts. And don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.